Hello guys and welcome to another edition of Rage Against the Dice. Today we're dipping back into our Drop Fleet Commander series and we're continuing to look at the two-player starter set. As you can clearly see, I have now finished the Scourge. There's actually been a bit of a shift since last time we were speaking about it. As you may recall, I was going to play as the UCM, Alan was going to play as the Scourge. Now, as it seems, <clears throat> Alan's been a lot busier, as you may have noticed he hasn't been on the channel as much. Um, and a few of the other guys from some guys in the Filthy Mage have taken interest in Drop Fleet. So instead we've had a bit of a reshape. I'm going to be doing Scourge. Um, Nate from some guys in the Filthy Mage, he is going to be doing UCM. Uh, Vince is doing PHR and that Filthy Mage himself, Sparks. He's going to be doing Shaltari because of course he is. They're broken as crap. Well, they're not, but they just play different. He's drawn to them. He can't help himself. So anyway... <laughs> I have still painted up all of the Scourge and I'm working on the UCM at the moment. So what we're going to do first is we're going to have a look at my Scourge. Um, and I made it up as the recommended build, which is Shenlong. It is a Wyvern, an Ifrit, two Gargoyles and two Harpies. And I've gone for a very Xenomorph look. Partly because I want to get them painted quickly and partly because of my love for the Alien franchise and H.R. Geiger's work in general. I think his artwork is beautiful. I don't think I've captured it in as much glory as it can. Um, so I've gone for a black with a very... It doesn't pick up very well on this camera, unfortunately, despite being a good camera. Um, so yeah, there you have it. So you can see I've gone with like a silver instead of greys. Um, and then on the gargoyles, you'll see... Then I've gone for green lighting, um, which represents obviously the glowing greens and stuff that we used in Aliens and then the silvers underneath. Um, at this stage, they're more of a tabletop standard and I'm happy enough with them. But I do ponder whether I'm going to add some more detail to them at a later point. Because I'm actually loving this game even more than I thought I was going to. Now that we've got a bigger game and base to play, I'm hoping that Alan watches a few games. And when he's got more spare time, when he's not busy you know, yurt farming and stuff that he does. Um, gets back... I know, yurt farming, how weird. He just raises tents. But <laughs> that's his jam, I don't judge. But yeah, I'm hoping that he'll he'll have more time and he'll get into it also. And then we've got a UCM starter set sat there ready for him. Um, so yeah, so as I said, I have gone for the basic setup for this set. I have got more stuff coming because I'm pretty excited. So we're going to look at the statistics and stuff of each of the ships. So the first is the Shenlong, which is this bad boy here. Boom. Now that's got a scan of six, a signature of eight, a thrust of eight, a hull of twelve, armor of four plus, a six on point defense. Um, it's got stealth and partial cloak and obviously it's a, a big ship, so it's a heavy ship. Um, it comes with oculus beam arrays, which go to the front and side. And then it's got the Plasma Storm, which is the D6 plus two attacks. Um, and that's the front side and rear. Um, and all of the attacks have Scald, um, which is minus one to your armor if you're within scan, I believe. Um, but don't quote me on that. As you know, I'm terrible with rules. Um, and Alan's terrible with rules, actually. Um, yeah, we might need to rethink that in the channel. But no, the next one is the Ifrit, which is this bad boy here. Boom. Now, I, I'm a big fan of the Ifrit. Uh, it's not my favorite. The Wyverns are my favorite of the starter ones, um, but we'll get to why when we get to it. So this is a medium ship, a six inch scan, eight inch signature, thrust of 10, hull of 10, four plus armor, six on point defense, so it's pretty cool um, and you can take two of them in a group as well so you can have a couple of them partnering along which is pretty cool. Um, it has oculus beams, it has furnace cannons and it has a plasma storm which again is the same as the Shenlong. Um, now this one with its furnace cannons they go from its front narrow which is the bit on the base when you watch the next video we've got coming actually is a look at the base and what the different things mean. Um, you'll be, you obviously, you'll know more about that. We are going to cover, as I've said multiple times, we are going to cover the rules 
Um, we can do a lot more playthroughs and things like that. We're trying to get some content up on the site again, um, covering some of the games that you guys have asked us to cover, and Drop Fleet being one of them. So then we're going across to my Wyvern, which, as I said, this is one of my favourites. Um, it's an absolute thing of beauty. Can't fault the Wyvern. It's handsome as. So the Wyvern is another medium ship that can be grouped in one or two. It's got a scan of six, signature of eight, thrust of ten, hull of ten, four plus armour, and then point defence um, of six. Um, yeah, so that's pretty standard. Um, sort of hold the same as the Ifrit and such. Um, it all matches up nicely. And then it's got Oculus Beams, again, which is from its front arc. Now, this is what I love about it. It has a Plasma Tempest. Um, now, that's 2d6 plus 4 attacks. Um, and it's a close action attack and it's Scald, so it gives you minus 1 to your armour. Um, and it's front and side, so it can do a lot of damage. Um, unless you're super unlucky like me, or you play against someone of a much superior tactical um, quality. Yeah, let's not speak of that. No, but yeah, that's a thing. So... And then we've got the two little harpies down at the bottom. Um, and they're light ships and they can be grouped in twos to fours. Um, they're atmospheric. They've got a scan of six, signature of three, thrust of 12, so they're a lot faster. Hull of four, armor of five plus, four point defense. Um, oculus beams again, and then plasma clouds, um, which are again their close action attacks. Now, all their attacks do have scald. Uh, so again, they're giving you the minus armor at their scan range. And then our last ships we're going to look at today is the Gargoyle. Um, now the Gargoyles, you drop ships. So these are really, really important. Um, but again, they're light ships. They can be grouped in one or two. They're atmospheric. They have launch and they open coherency, which is pretty good. Um, scan of six, signature of three, thrust of 12, hull of four, armor five plus. Four on point defense, and then they've got Oculus Rays, and they've got Plasma Clouds. Now, we are going to cover the weapons in a separate thing, in case you're watching this thinking, well, you've listed what weapons they've got, but you haven't told us what they do. We're going to spread this bad boy out. We're trying to keep some videos short. Um, we've had a lot of feedback from both sides. They like a lot of our gameplay videos, and they like them to be long because of the stupid back and forth. But on these type of videos, they want them kept short. So, we're going to see how we do with regards to it. But yeah, so this is the start of my Scourge fleet. I've got another starter set and some few other bits on the way. What we're actually going to do is show you how to build some of the other ships. Um, and I'm going to do a painting guide on some of the smaller ones as well, just on how I got that effect. And then we'll see whether we add a bit more to it. What I will do, though, is at the end of this video, I'll add a few photos, maybe some close-ups and stuff for the ships. So you can see them in more detail, guys. But I hope, you know, the guys who... I've been asking for drop fleet commander stuff. Hope they're happy that we're covering it. And hopefully you guys who don't play drop zone commander at the moment or drop fleet commander um, watch this and think, ah, oh, might give that a go. Yeah, that, that sounds cool. But no, guys, as always, thank you very much for watching. Give us a like, a subscribe. Check the links below. You'll see a link for some guys in the Filthy Mages podcast. Get them checked out. Because they'll hit me if I don't tell you to do that. It's a thing. That's what they do. And yeah. As always, pray the dice gods help this smile upon you. Take care, guys. Bye.